Well, it is official our new Miss World. Australia has been crowned. Brisbane girl Tess Alexander was announced the winner in a glitzy ceremony at Crown Perth last night. The model and personal trainer beat 43 other contestants to be crowned with the $2.5 million pink diamond tiara. There she is wearing it. And here she is this morning. Tess has come in for a Monday morning chat. Thanks for backing up so early after what would have been an amazing night last night for you at Crown. Yeah, it certainly was an amazing experience. I still can't believe it. What's it like putting that $2.5 million tiara on your head? Uh, it's, it's breathtaking. It was such a surprise and um, honestly, it was, it was a beautiful piece by Linus. So you're a Brisbane girl, you work as a personal trainer. Now that you are Miss World Australia, what do, you, do you have to quit your job? <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, Miss World is, um, it, it enables you to do um, whatever you really want to do. So mm. um, for me, I will be hoping to take it down the health and fitness road. Yep. Um, and yeah, looking forward to it. Can I ask, now that you, now that you are Miss World Australia, <laughs> do you get to double your fees or something? You know, surely when you're trying to offer your services to potential customers, you can say, I'm Miss World Australia now. <laughs> No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure my clients are at home watching right now. <laughs> they would be chuffed a bit for you, though, I'm sure. Have yeah. you had uh, lots of uh, messages overnight? Yeah, definitely. It's been, um, there's been an outpouring and I'm so thankful mm. for everyone's support. So what happens now? You are Miss World Australia. What's the next phase? So the next step is the international competition yep. in China, which is held in December. Uh, so there will be a lot of preparation up until that point, but I'm definitely excited about all of, all of the next steps. Mm. I have to ask you too, you are a redhead. <laughs> Do you feel like you're flying the flag for the redheads? I, too? I really, really do. You know, I am, I am the first redheaded Miss World Australia, so um, the very what an honour. There yeah. you go. Yeah. So Doing it for the record. You are doing it for the team. <laughs> Do you get special support from them as well? Are you already a bit of a hero? In oh, the, absolutely. In the red <laughs> so what do you do now? You're flying back to Brisbane and then it all starts? Yeah. What's, what's the sort of time commitment that you have? Yeah, so the next couple of months will definitely be dedicated to getting ready for the international competition. Yeah. Um, and I'm not too sure of the next steps. Yeah. You don't get to take the tiara home, I take it. Uh, no, Two and a half million dollars worth. It will be staying safe and sound in Crown. Yeah, well, you wear it very well. Congratulations Thank and you all so the best much. for the next year. And I think you should double your fees. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. Thanks very much. Thanks. We'll hopefully see you back here soon. <laughs>